Hi, Saggies. It's Athena, and welcome back. This is your May 2021 reading. I'm going to be using the Vice Versa deck. Sorry. The Vice Versa deck. Okay, for the reading, for the general part. And then I will use the Doreen Virtue Love Oracle for each of the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Each of your natal chart, okay? So it's good to know your natal chart. Let's begin. So Sagittarius Sun Sign. Moon Sign. Venus. And, oh, sorry, Venus and Rising. Yes, Venus Rising, okay? So, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Sagittarius. You're the only ones that I didn't do the Rising first, as I said it. So, these two could be actually intertwined. Sun, uh, Sagittarius, Sun Sign. Moon. Rising and Venus. I did say it right, right? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. I did. Wow, that's weird. So the rising and the and the Venus signs for Sagittarius could definitely be intermingled here. Because I got confused, but really wasn't a confusion at all. Okay. So, wow, look at this judgment with this could be the one so Sagittarius sun signs you are definitely in a relationship that is definitely for you one person has a lot more wisdom and spirituality but together you guys are like the power couple I feel a very very much a power couple here Um, I feel that your child, one of you, your childhood self has been healed in order to find your true mate, love. Someone has conquered their, their past is what I'm hearing. I also feel that there's an age difference perhaps here, Sag sun sign, there's an age difference or it's of wisdom one is wiser and or more experienced shall we say the surrendering into this relationship is what spirit is asking for this relationship to be also blessed from spirit I feel that at one at one time people were judging this relationship based upon the fact that one person might be an older of older age and or more wiser than the other and I think in the past people were judging that but no longer are cuz they feel now they see that you're definitely with the person who makes you a better person. Okay. Sag that's for sun sign. Sag moon sign. What heart what heartbreak have we had here? What truth is hurting our hearts? Have we had a discussion with someone who we really love and care for, but we're feeling still a heart some heartbreak hasn't healed yet? Are we missing someone from our past? who we really felt very connected to. This is for Sag moon signs. Are you still trying to get over a past love? Is it a past child, childhood, child love, a soulmate and or a loss of a child? Sag moon. Someone's um, trying to heal. Someone is also surrendering their ego and going for what they want.
Sagittarius rising. This is a soulmate relationship, but you don't see it coming. It's on its way. Sag rising and or Venus, I'm going to say. I'm going to merge these two cards together. I have not done that before, but I am for this one. Interesting enough, this came out for someone else. Very similar. The four of pentacles is reversed, is actually upright, right? This is holding back. This is letting it all. So someone's coming out and showing you their heart. Someone's coming and you're not going to see them coming. Why? Because you're freeing yourself from someone else only to find your soulmate and or soul counterpart is coming in for for the Sagittarius rising and or Venus signs. So Sag rising in Venus. If you have lost a love of late, I don't know why I'm saying it that way. You have freed yourself from one relationship. It is, it is now the time for your soul counterpart to be coming in and they're not holding back. This is a twin flame soul counterpart relationship. After you have freed yourself from one relationship that was not, I think that this was a fake, a fake twin flame. And now you're meeting the real twin flame. Why? Because you gave yourself a minute to heal and to love yourself. This also applies. I think for the overall reading for Saggies, I think that it took many of the Sagittarian men, masculine, divine masculines, to see their true counterparts as they are, even after heartbreak and or not agreeing or agreeing to disagree. I feel a relationship is starting all over again here. It's a 10 right here. And here's a 10. That's why this is this is all encompassing for Saggies. This did not come out for any other signs. So just so you know, any losses, any fights, any disagreements, any hurt, hurt and or pain that you dealt with with one, you're not going to see the same person as this. You're not going to feel the same way as you did for a person of your from your past. Which means if you are already connected with a loved one, this is your person. You had to free yourself from the, the thoughts and beliefs that you're not agreeing. It's kind of like don't give up just because you don't agree with others, right? With your person. If you had a fight, someone is saying, come on, let's work this out. I've had and I've gone through... I've experienced this before, so let me in, I'm hearing. Let me in, even though someone's been heartbroken. It's let's start over again for Saggies. Okay, let me see what downloads I get for Sagittarius across the board. Okay, for some of you. Even though you don't want to admit you were wrong. That's just the releasing of your ego. So the freeing yourself is this in actuality. You are setting your ego free only to follow your heart. Is that right? Is that right? Yes. And you're not having an easy time saying it because I just got... Like, I just got uh, choked up. Some of you are going to be choked up when you find out how much someone really loves you. Don't be dismayed when things don't go your way. Just believe 
that you're on the right path and the person standing next to you has your back. Anything else for Sagittarius for May? Some of you may say we aren't meant to be together forever, but you're going to have a change of heart. Once you see someone else's heart, you will have a change of heart. Very good. All right. Have a great month.